Emperor of Belarus, the County of Mayo. The long legged Fred of Francis. Well, this weekend is our first weekend of a new literary festival that we're trying to make an annual event here in Belmullet uh, on Bale Bin. And it's a celebration of words, be they spoken, sang, shouted, uh, debated, uh, discoursed, be they dissonant in whatever way that we can find some way to find an expression, give voice to people who are working in the creative arts through the spoken word in whatever way, comedy, uh, and it be a celebration of that, but also an exploration of the local uh, discourse, the national discourse, and indeed with, say, guests like Ed Vulliami from The Guardian, the international discourse. It's good enough to wake me up after only about two hours. He said, I think you'd better get up. The World Trade Center's on fire. She's very kind of it because uh, we down well. I suppose Bell Mullet, most people would be familiar with Bell Mullet from the shipping forecast. Um, and after that, they might go, it's up there somewhere in the northwest. Uh, and as a blow in myself, I know that when people come up here, they're absolutely blown away by the landscape, the colours, the beauty of it, the people, their friendliness, their. their engagement with you immediately on whatever level, it be it through sport, be it through politics, be it through the weather, which is always a great one. And I think sometimes you can feel when you're in places like this that slightly isolated from the central discourse of the national psyche, but of course it's not. It has its own relevance, which links into that in some way, but it has its own unique slant on that as well, because of its, if you like, isolation in one way. So I think it's absolutely wonderful that we have writers from all over Ireland and abroad that are coming here that can share ideas, thoughts, uh, discourse, as I say, and we find that in actual fact as human beings we're not too far apart. Well, I was very, uh, very much, uh, I, I totally enjoyed this whole experience in, in Belmullet uh, this weekend because um, it's been a while since I've done this kind of event. I remember them, events like this, quite a lot about 20 years ago. It, there seemed to be a great rich wealth of them then. And how I define it, the difference is that, it, you know, it's a literary festival, but it's more than that. It's kind of where literature meets reality. We started with a wonderful uh, opening of a new exhibition by uh, Dermot O'Callaghan um, and his daughter Noelle O'Callaghan. Hey, my name is Noelle O'Callaghan, I'm from Cork City and I live in Berlin and I spend a lot of time in both Cork, Berlin and the west of Ireland painting. I do paint other things besides the West of Ireland, but these paintings were all done in the West of Ireland. Mostly, for me, they were mostly done in Mayo, and my father's ones were mostly done in Connemara. So it's nice to bring them back to the West, where the colours are very special to this area. Last night we had uh, John Banville reading with Martin Dyer and Albany Garvey, and they were fantastic, a lovely mix, and uh, it was just beautifully realised between poetry and, and John Banville's wonderful prose, as we all know. Call them, call them on, and a makes an appearance Tonight uh, we're going to finish up um, uh, with two presentations, one on Sean Keating, uh, famous Irish uh, artist uh, from the 20th century, uh, by, with Dr Ian O'Connor. At six o'clock a tribute to Seamus Heaney, which is uh, in, uh, interactive in that it, it has, it has um, um, slide images with Des Cavan, who's an expert and an old friend of, Des, of uh, Seamus Heaney. And then we finish with Michael Harding and Tommy Tiernan, which should be really, really good fun, which is a lovely way to finish off with a bit of, a bit of fun. When the story goes into a book, I don't think there's any difference between poetry in books and poetry in your mouth. So uh, I don't often get asked to come along to these type of things, but recently I have because of Michael. Um, and it's just an opportunity really to hear. He's, I think he's an amazing storyteller, you know, and uh, exactly. I think exactly. the, I couldn't really pass up on the opportunity to hear him. It's beautiful to come to a place like this and have it and it feels a bit more ordinary in the sense of uh, usual you know that this this is the type of place that these things should be and it's, it's brilliant